Hi, this is Maria from Crochet A to Z and welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please push that subscribe button if you have. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for being here today and happy Monday. I hope you all had a great weekend and welcome, welcome to the channel one and all. I want to show you this really great project. You can make many of these in a day. You can sell them. You can give them away. You can use them this weekend. If you wanted to give them this weekend, you can give them at churches, church bazaars, you can sell them. If you wanted to give them to someone special, whatever you wanted to do, if you wanted to use it at, at a place setting and just give a giveaway, this would be great as a little gift. These are crochet crosses bookmarks. And you can make them just this alone, just the cross itself, or, or you can add this for your bookmark. You can put a little bead here, whatever you wanted to, or just fancy this up a bit. But they're quick, they're easy to make, and like I said, you can make a lot of these in a day. And they're really beautiful. You can make them in cotton, you can make them in acrylic yarn. I use four weight yarn, and today I am using an H hook. So let's get started, and I'm going to show you just how easy these are to make. I'm using a uh, Color yarn is amethyst. I am using 100% acrylic machine washable color theory uh, by two of wands, and that is a Lion Brand product. So let's get started, why don't we? And let me show you just how easy these are to make. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to crochet, but before we get started, we're going to make a nice little slip knot. And once we make the slip knot, you can make this a little long. Once you make a slip knot, not very long, just a little bit, we're going to make our slip knot and then we're going to chain one, two, three, four, five. Once you do that, you're going to go into that very first chain and instead of pulling this yarn you're not going to you're going to pull this and it's almost like you're making a slip stitch but you're not you're going to pull that right through there and then what you're going to do is you're going to get the other piece of your yarn that's attached to your to a, your you know your yarn ball or whatever and you're going to just get those two pieces and you're going to make a knot. And you're going to knot those together and you're going to do it really tight. And you're going to work in the middle here. And we're going to do this really, I go slow, I'm visual, so everybody can learn this. Beginner to advanced. You're going to put your crochet hook right in the middle there and you're going to pull this up, your yarn up. And then you're going to do is just do chain one. Then you're going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are your chains. This is your working chain. We're going to take the beginning of this and we're going to go right in the middle here right in the middle and we're going to do is we're going to do a slip stitch so we're going to go in there we're going to pull that up and we're going to pull it right through and that's great now what we're doing is we're doing the foundation for the cross so we're doing this we're going to make three of these. So this is your first one, the shorter ends. Now you're going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to go back in here and we're going to do, and you don't, this little end you don't have to weave it in you just ignore it and let it hang there at the end you'll see what we'll do with that 
and we're going to do another slip stitch. See it right there? And we're going to pull it right through. Now we made two. One, two. We're going to make our third one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to go back in the middle here and we're going to pull that through and make another slip stitch. So now we have one, two, three. We have three of them. And we're going to make sure that that's nice and so now what we're going to do, and I want you to see this, we've got one, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to do this portion. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then we're gonna go back in the middle here and we're gonna do another slip stitch. So, let me show you. We're going to go back in the middle here and do another slip stitch right in the middle. So I want you to see that. You made one, you made two, you made three. Then we go back in the middle here and you're going to slip stitch this one as well. So now you have four which is what you want. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And here it is right here. So what you did was you did this, 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 and this part. With these three part, the, these three, you chained 10. With the bottom half, you chained 20. Now what we're going to do is once we do that, we're going to go in here and we're going to do a single crochet. Now, what you're going to do is once you do that, like I said, you're going to do a single crochet. You're going to make 20 single crochets in all three of these. Now, I want to also state, depending on how you crochet, whether you crochet loosely, tight, whatever, you could have more or less. So don't hold it to it. Don't hold yourself to it. It could be more, it could be less. So we're gonna do 20 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to just, because this is in my yarn bow, so just loosen this up a tad. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and we're going to do 20. Now, also, the way the what type of yarn you use that could also change how many you would do. So that's why I want to make that 
so you're not saying, oh gosh, I must have done it wrong. No, no worries. So once you do that, and this is what we're achieving. What you're achieving is you're making this. You're putting a border around that chain, those chain tens that you made. So now what we're going to do is once you do that and you get your 20 made or whatever, you go back in here and you do a slip stitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the next one. And we're going to go in there and we're going to do a single crochet. So we're going to go inside and we're going to pull up and do a single crochet. So let me show you, once you go in the middle, you're going to go in here. You're going to pull up a loop. You're going to yarn over and pull through two. So we're going to do a single crochet, 20 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now you're going to go back in the middle here and you're going to do a slip stitch. So now I want to show you, you've done this, you've done this, and now we're going to go to the end. So now we're going to do in here, we're going to pull up a loop. You're going to yarn over and pull through two. And we're going to do 20 more single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. And you went all the way around. Now, again, we're going to go back in the middle here. And we're going to just do a slip stitch. So now I want to show you what we've done. We've made these three, which is, let me use a different color. We've made this. So now we're going to go 
into this part, this bottom part. That's where we're at now. So once we did our slip stitch in there, we're going to go in to this last part and we're going to make another go in and we're going to make a single crochet. So we're going to go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to make 35 of these. Could you have more? Absolutely. Could you have less? Absolutely. If you have more or less, don't worry about it. I'm not holding you to those numbers. Also, I want to mention, I like mine full. You may like yours a little less full, but I like my single crochets to really stand out because I like the way it makes the cross feel. So once we do that, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Now see what I'm saying? You may have more that you may have to do because of the way I may have crocheted. So I'm going to just do more. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So it's not set in stone is what I'm trying to say. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do what we did before. We're going to go in here and we're going to do a slip stitch. And once we do that, we're going to cut this end. And then we're going to get that. We cut that end. And we're just going to pull this through. And make it nice and tight. Now I want you to show you that this is what we have. Here is your cross. If once you make this and you didn't want to make the bottom, you don't have to. But we're going to do some tidying up before we move forward. So here's the one that's been in the back here. 
but we're going to take this one and I'm just going to slip it back here. I'm going to pull it to the back because yes, there is a back and a front to this and I'm going to show you. You're going to be able to tell this is your right side. This is your wrong side and I'm going to put them together so that you can see. This is the wrong side. This is your right side. You see your stitches. This part, you see the intricate of how your stitches are made. So I'm going to pull that up so you can see. Right side, wrong side. So we pull that in the back there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my trusty little needle. And I love these needles because they have a little bend to them. And I'm going to weave this in. And it, honestly, it really doesn't matter which one you grab first. So what's going to happen is you're going to grab this. And you're just going to, we, you're going to, and what we're going to do is I'm going to go back in, in here and we're going to weave this, but we're going to weave this to close this up. So we're going to go along here. And we're going to close this up and we're going to find a spot that we can grab. I'm going to just go along and close up that middle because we don't want it. We don't want that hole there. So we're going to go around and you're going to see that it's, see how it's, see how it's going and it's closing it up. We're just going to go around. And we want to close that up. Now you can do this from the right side or the wrong side. It doesn't matter because we just, it's going to, the way you're weaving it, you're not even going to be able to tell. And then we're gonna, just going to go in there again. And we're going to close that little, and we're just going to weave. See how it's closing? See how you closed it up as you weaved along? And then what I'm going to do is go put this in the back and I'm going to go right through the back because I wanted to see that come through. Then I'm going to go in the back because I wanted to weave that closed. And it's so, it's so pretty that, see how nice it's, it is? And if you want, you can just get a little more and you can close it up a little more now from the back. Because you want to make sure from the front that that's closed. And just weave it along. It's almost like you're going in a circle and you're weaving it. And you pull it, see how it's, it's closed. And if you want one more time, let's look, there's no opening. So now I'm going to grab this and I'm going to just weave this around this just a little bit, not a lot. And I'm going to pull it through there and then I'm going to cut this. Now I'm going to grab this. And that's why I said, if you leave them a little long, that'll be easier for you to, and I'm going to do this, basically kind of do the same thing with this. I'm going to weave it to the back, in the back. Make sure everything looks closed up. And if you turn that around, see how nice it's, you can't even see that there was a hole there where you did, really, where you did all your work. And then we're going to weave it up the side here a little bit, not all the way. And we're going to just do that. And then we're going to cut this end. And 
now you've got that taken care of. And here it is right here. And it's so, so pretty. Now you can, if you want to wet these down afterwards, and if you wanted to say you wanted to uh, make it so that it's flat, if you don't think it's flat enough, you can do that. And see, I never do because it all shapes up. It looks like it's off, but it really isn't. Once you get it flat, see how nice and flat it lays? And it's perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the bookmark part. So now with the bookmark part, let's get our end. And we're going to make a slip knot just like we did we're going to make this a little long too all right we're going to make our slip knot and we're going to chain 20. if you want to chain more you can so we're going to do one two three four five six seven eight nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Once we have 20, we're going to attach this to this so you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna look and say where's my middle so you're gonna kind of gauge and you're gonna go in there and you're gonna say okay that's my middle and you're gonna put that in there and you're gonna slip that and pull that through and pull that right through so now once you do that you're going to start doing a slip stitch or a single crochet I prefer the single crochet look I prefer the single crochet look you can do either a single this was a slip stitch and I wanted to show you both and this was a single crochet but that's up to you. You can do either or. So I do a single crochet. So what you're going to do now is you're going to do a single crochet or a slip stitch in every chain down. So in every chain, we're going to do either a slip stitch or a single crochet, depending on what you prefer. I'm giving you your option. That's up to you. You may not like the single crochet. That's fine. So we're going to go into every one of these chains and we're going to do that. And I just want to mention that you can tell if you're in the front of this or the back of this. I'm going to pull up, pull out a little bit because the front of your chains, there they are. And the back of your chain, there's little bumps. So you're doing the front. So we're going to keep doing either the single crochet or a slip stitch, depending on what you like. You try this, the slip stitch, and if you like it, you say, okay. If you don't, then you change it. And with some yarns, it may look better than with others. That's why you have an option. 
be creative as you like. You may want to put a ribbon on the bottom here. That, that's up to you. And we go right down to the bottom and we just do this with every chain stitch that you have. And that's the last chain. Then what we're going to do is once we get to the last one, we're going to make this long, as long as the one that's already there. And we're going to pull this through. And then once you do that, now again, you may want to put something here. You may want to put a bow there. You may want to put a, a bead there. Whatever you want to put. If you decide not to, you get these two ends and you do this. You can do this afterwards if you put a bead or whatever. Bead or whatever. You get those two ends and we're just going to knot them. And then we're going to do it one more time. Just to give it that. And there it goes. You can't even tell that that knot is there. And then you would trim these as long as as short as you want. Just as long as they are the same length. And if you wanted to, just to let you know, if you wanted to do a random act of kindness and give that as a random act of kindness giveaway, you could do that as well. And here is, again, this is the back end of your cross. And here is the front end of your cross with your little tail that makes your book mark. If you want to, and if you're not happy, if you think it's got to be a little flatter, you can wet this down so that, and then let it dry. But here it is. Here is your book mark. And they are so, so pretty. And I'm going to just move that. They're beautiful in all the different colors. And like I said, I don't have a problem. I've never had to wet these down. I don't have a problem with having to say, well, they're not, they just, they just do. And I think by adding the, the single crochets and making sure that they're full, that's why I say to you, if you don't, you feel as though it's not full enough, add, you can add extras. And I think that gives it that that just that perfect look that it does and it makes it so pretty and these are your bookmark crochet crosses your easter bookmark crochet crosses your gift any time of the year they're beautiful little bookmarks and uh this is a perfect time of the year to make them if you wanted to make them and i hoped you liked this tutorial on crochet A to Z. If you do make them, let me know what you're doing with them. Are you going to give them away? Are you going to do random acts of kindness? Are you going to put them in at your place setting to give everyone a little gift? Will you give them away at church? Sell them at a bazaar? What are you going to do with these little bookmarks? Please let us know. And let us know if you're adding anything to this, if you're going to decorate them a little differently. Because you could put something in the middle here. There's a lot of little things you could do with these to dress them up. But they look beautiful all by themselves. Thank you. And this is Maria from Crochet A to Z. Have a happy Monday evening. Have a great Tuesday coming forward. Thank you. Have a great day. And love you all. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.